guys lord lewan is here welcome back to kozak 3 i want today i want to show you massive uh, multiplayer battle here this is a uh, 3 vs 3 battle and as you can see we are playing with uh, multiple nations and uh, i am looking for uh, prussian one here this is ukrainian peasant algeria venice prussia yep this is prussia okay i want to build up Prussia now, Prussian base now, and Dr. Ertz, if I have left uh, enough resources, I will build up another nations as well. Okay, actually, I am not used to <laughs> play in such conditions, because I don't know now what to do. Okay, let's select several of uh, other nations and send them to build the town centers. Okay, I need meal. Okay, I have uh, mentioned one Prussian peasant on control one and with this control one I am uh, controlling the uh, build up process of uh, uh, Prussian town. Okay, in the north I have my allies. This is the red one. It's called Abdul and uh, the blue one Mesuria. Okay. And the violet, orange and black are my enemies there. Okay, the standard process goes on. I am building up Prussian town. I will build up this straw house now. Okay, the uh, blacksmiths are ready. I will build up three 17th century barracks in the east. Because the enemy is in the east. It's such a uh, straight thing there. Because uh, east is against west. Okay, and I take place and take part in western coalition now. Okay, let's build up seven. Uh, let's build up seven stables. Actually, I have read the uh, notes on Kozak's uh, Facebook page. They have mentioned that uh, the uh, building queue with shift was limited to six, but they have uh, they have cancelled this uh, limitation. So for now, not in this uh, in this reply, of course. Uh, afterwards, from today, uh, you can select and build up more than six uh, six buildings in a row with shift. Okay, let's build up. Uh, uh, let's build up golden mines. And afterwards, I have to build up the academies as well. I have to upgrade my troops to be more powerful, more deadliest, and so on. Okay, I'm tired with this multination now. I don't want I don't know what to select there. Okay, faster man, faster. And by the way, let's I'm trying to build up at least one town center so of all nations. Okay, come idle guys. Okay, let's let's create cuirassiers. Actually, I, I forgot to mention the starting points. We had millions here. The 18th century was immediately. That's why I am able to create cuirassiers from my stables. And the other other options we have standard. The capture of the options are standard. The uh, balloon options are standard, and so on. Okay, this is a Russian town center, and I'm building up now the Spanish town center as well. Okay, upgrade the pikeman man. Pikeman will be my core core troops, but they are very weak relative to 18th century troops. They are good in uh, 17th century, but in 18th century they are only to look army more than it really appears. Okay, okay, come guys. 
we need every resource here okay okay five six seven yep now I can build I can create cuirassiers from seven stables yep I have to send I have to upgrade the balloon option and let's see what kind of enemies and uh, where my enemies are situated and uh, which one will be against me okay actually look at this the orange guy has spoiled our game because he could not manage to load the game there okay by the way the uh, here is Ukrainian base the black decided to build up Ukrainian base and the look at these guys he is building everything Ukrainian stables, Venetian town centers and so on and so on okay let's see the um, development points look at this the red one is 400 I am uh, nearly 350 and others are less less than 300 okay we have a huge advantage here our team has a huge advantage here actually okay I need uh, more and more guys on the fields because I have the house capacity thousand uh, nearly thousand six hundred and these guys must be fitted well very well otherwise the famine will destroy my created cuirassiers okay I have idle peasants nearly 200 come on I want Prussian peasants to get a wood and stone and I will send other peasants in mines because in mines they don't need any upgrade there okay let's go and build up 18th century barracks I want many uh, Prussian musketeers there Prussian musketeers are very good in this game actually uh, as uh, Cossack stream uh, developers announced they are trying they are uh, promising to issue several DLCs and add eight nations okay hope there will be Netherlands Saxony Denmark as well uh, Portugal of course because I don't uh, I don't understand why these guys are created in Algeria and uh, Netherlands Portugal Denmark are in absence so okay they know it better okay let's upgrade the uh, seventh upgrade of our cuirassiers I want more cannons there and I have to I have to attack the violet or or the black one because uh, the violet will try probably will try to destroy the blue one as soon as possible and afterwards he will turn his uh, soldiers against red okay it depends on red if he lets uh, violet to destroy blue it will be a mistake because he is ahead in development he has more troops more soldiers so he must be more active against violet and he has to destroy him first until the violet destroy the blue one okay okay I have 17 cannons now and huge amount of pikemen let's see the base of Ukrainians here he is creating Sir Dukes Sir Dukes are very deadly guys because they have very good gunfire they have very good protection but they require gold to be created but um, Ukraine does not have any other uh, any other troops there okay four 18th century barracks are ready 
Okay, I have to create, I have to upgrade the iron mine as well as coal mine, at least one, because uh, in this battle I need more resources than usual, because um, I have several nations to be built up. So uh, let's go. What? Yep. The uh, pack time, the peace time was 20 minutes, and nine minutes is uh, is left. Okay. Let's buy some wood. We have plenty of coal, and we need wood to upgrade our mines. Okay, guys, okay. Yep, look at this. He has registered Cossacks, created registered Cossacks, and there were some uh, dragoons, I think. Yep, 42 cannons are ready now. Yep, I have upgraded everything in Academy. Now I'm uh, ordering some mortars and multi barrel cannons. Okay, the blue one is, uh, is trying to build up the Ukrainian base as well. Uh, why guys? Why are you creating the uh, Ukrainian bases? Because Ukraine has a good troops, strong troops, but with absence of 18th century barracks, they get uh, less troops than the European European states. And as well, I will create multi barrel cannons, and Ukraine does not have any protected guys. So I will send my multi barrel cannons in front of my army and he won't approach my army so So that's why I don't like Ukraine but Ukraine has uh, the hetmans and with 300 attack points and it's very there are those guys are very bad I don't like them <laughs> Okay, okay, everything is going well. Let's build up the Russian base now. I intend to create Russian grenadiers. Okay, what's going on here? My cuirassiers are ready. Prussian uh, musketeers are ready too. Okay, I have enough time to to upgrade my base because six minutes are left now. I will add one meal as well because I need more and more food. Because for now I have 1,300 troops. Oh, I can't build any more. Okay, let's create the golden mine, or the golden mine here. Yep, the blacksmith is fully upgraded. Okay, I have to build up the 18th century barracks of Russia. Yep, these are the registered Cossacks. 
Oh, the violet, yep. As I've said, uh, the red is acting more aggressive. I have to go to attack violet, but it's not fair, I think, because he will be killed very easy and... Okay, this guy does not have enough troops to capture my base. Okay, actually this game is 3 vs 2 for now. Oh, I wish Orange managed to load his game now. It would be more interesting and more massive battles here. If Orange were here. Okay, never mind. Okay, my Curiosiers are ready to attack and rush into the camp of Violet and destroy their everyone. Okay, purple to get the game even. I won't attack during 10 minutes. Okay, I think it's fair. My proposal is fair, because if he manages to uh, survive in 10 minutes, it will be a good hero. Okay, thanks. Okay, guy. Okay. But you, I already know who wins. <laughs> okay, I know who wins as well, but... Let's have a fun here. Okay, actually, uh, the Violet has a huge army there. He's threatening blue, I think. Okay, don't relax, Lord. Everything is not won. Uh, to, by the way, you should uh, you should watch my video when I uh, it was called two vs two vs two when I relaxed and I have lost. It was a very dramatic match, but I deserved it because I started to do um, silly things and enemy. Um, enemy used my mistakes for their favor so okay let's send and prepare to rush the wallets camp in 10 minutes or I think I have to go to destroy the black one multi barrel cannons I need more gold guys, more gold. Cause my gold supplies are 30,000. 13,000 is not good. I need more and more gold to build up more and more barracks. I have 10 minutes now. Cause the peacetime will end in 1 minute and afterwards I have 10 minutes not to attack the violet. Actually, my name is Merciful Lord Levan, because I don't like the unfair battles when three guys are attacking one, so... Well, let you can take a break from my attacks. But you won't have a good day, because uh, the red one has a huge number of troops and he will attack you definitely okay I need 25,000 gold to build up more barracks okay come here and work harder
Oh, come on, guys. Okay, my conjoint army of pikemen and musketeers will come here. Of course, attack everyone on your way. And I need 42 cannons as well. Yep, here are uh, Zich Cossacks, Register Cossacks and Dragoons there. Okay, let's go and test the strengths of Ukrainian army. Beware, Prussians are coming. Okay, there is a massive clash against Violet and Blue. Actually, the Violet has skipped in the base of Blue. He will now capture everyone there. Every single peasant there. Okay, Red, be more active. Because I have non-aggression pact for 10 minutes here. Yep, look at this, Violet has killed the blue army there. Then, Okay, actually black is coming. Okay, musketeers, fire! Where are my musketeers walking? Come on, guys! You should fire now! Oh, damn, my musketeers doesn't fire. Fire, guys. Why are they are going back? Strange. Is it, a, is it a bug or... I don't understand anything. Because look at this, I have lost all of my troops here. Let's support our infantry with our cavalry. My cuirassiers will tap the enemy now. Yep, they are coming. Beware, Ukrainians. I want to send other nations in the mines. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, come and destroy the Sardukes. Oh gosh, my guys are not... My guys are not fighting there. Look at this, they are just standing there. Come on! It's definitely a bug. My troops are walking, but they are not attacking the Sir Dukes. Look at these guys. Damn! <laughs> Damn, I now I will lose the game. In such case. Yep, I'm complaining. I'm crying now. <laughs> okay, look at this. A bunch of uh, Ukrainians have destroyed my mighty army of Prussian musketeers and there were uh, nearly 500 cuirassiers. 500 cuirassiers can tap every enemy on its way. Oh, I can't kill that Register Kazakh there. Oh, it's definitely a bug. Okay. Okay, never mind. Let's create more powerful, more powerful army. And I like Grenadiers, so I will create them. Okay. As well as Russian Kirasiers. Okay, come on, guys. Yep. Okay, what's going on here? Actually, Violet has killed Blue. Red, you are moving slowly, man. Because you let him eat the blue one. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Okay, for now I have to destroy Ukrainians because they have killed a lot of my guys. Okay, what's going on here? Sir Dukes are here. Okay, fire guys. Yep, Zich Kazakhs are dead. 
Okay, the dragons are coming, but... Have you tasted my cannon, man? Okay, okay, I'm gaining my position. Yep, I have to destroy this bunch of Sir Dukes now. Yeah, what's going on? I think the violet has more troops than than the red one. And I'm afraid to lose this battle again. With the silly non-aggression pact from myself, but anyway, I could not kill the Ukraine for now. If I have sent all of my troops to attack Violet, the Sir Dukes would come and kill all of my guys. Cause my Cuirassiers doesn't fight. Oh, I made another mistake. Look at my peasants. Where are they going? Come on guys, come on. Get back to work. Okay, meanwhile the Sir Dukes are coming. But for now I have repelled them. For now my musketeers are firing. Look, they are not killing the Sir Dukes there. Russian pikemen come here. Okay, I have to destroy the dragoons there. These are the mercenary dragoons, but anyway, I have to destroy them. Okay, for now my Prussian musketeers are fighting well. Okay, Grenadiers get ready. Okay, actually Violet is trying to spread the flank and spread the front there. Okay, let's fire with our 42 cannons. Sir Dukes beware. Okay, I am near enemy base now. Let's prepare our mortars. Okay, Kazakhs. Oh, 
Okay, my cannons are dealing game. Huge damage there. Yep, for now let's open fire on the enemy academy. Come on guys, kill the dukes. Yep, look at this. These squads of registered Cossacks were attacking the enemy troops. Okay, for now on minimap, the red is dominating. Yep, let's support our infantry with with cavalry and afterwards my cavalry will rush into the enemy camp. Okay, there is a dramatic battle between red and violet. This is the most hot spot of the map. Oh, hetmans are here. Yep, and the Ukrainian academy is burning down. Poor peasants are trying to repair, but they are dying, doing their job. Okay, come here. Oh, my guys are going back. Go in melee combat, man. You are a musketeer, you have a musket with an with steel on it. Strange guys, strange. Okay, let's go further. I want to destroy the Ukraine for now once and the last time. Okay. I can't upgrade the uh, defense of grenadiers. Because they need the... Uh, they need food. They need more food. Okay, it's the... Look at this, the development of Violet is zero. But I don't think this is correct. Let's go further. Yeah, for now the red is destroying Violet. Yep, I have to destroy the um, block houses there. They are very deadly. Have you ever seen how they are firing? What kind of rate of fire they have? They can kill nearly 20 soldiers in 2 or 3 seconds. Maximum 3 seconds. Okay, the attack of each Cossacks are repelled. And I'm destroying the dragoons with my cannons. Okay, I have a huge amount of idle, uh, idle peasants here. Yep, I need more gold to upgrade the gold mines. Okay, let's destroy one by one the 18th, uh, 17th century barracks of Ukraine.
Okay, I will send my multi-barrel cannons now and to move faster because multi-barrels won't allow anyone to reach my troops. Okay, how much? 60,000 food I need. But I have already, I have only 43 now. 44. Okay. Okay, how much? There are many 17th century barracks. Let's reach the camp border. Oh, I don't have the dwellings. Let's kill the idle peasants. I don't like you guys. Yep. Poor Algerians and poor Turkish peasants. As well as Spanish and Venetians. Okay. Okay, they are not eating more food and... I am gathering more food now. Okay, Red is trying to break the Violet, but... Violet is fighting till the last gasp. Every soldier is fighting, every soldier is doing their job. Yep, he's now sending good game. I think he surrenders. Okay, I inform my guy that this game goes on YouTube to be prepared for this. <laughs> okay, yep. Okay, the Ukrainians are coming and coming with the bunches. Oh, my cannons missed, but, okay, okay, at the first wave, then say 1vs3 because it was like that, no man, it was not 1vs3, it was 1vs2 in your case, but in our case, green vs black, it was 1vs1. Okay, but by the way, man, here, what's your name? Jeroeng, Jeroeng, you are a good player. You were fighting against two, two opponents, and it's very hard. It's very difficult. Yeah, that's true. What's your ch Yeah, yeah, he realized that that I am right, but you are a good player, man. Respect from uh, from Prussian camp. Okay, at last I can. Um, at last I have overcome the uh, resistance of Ukrainians. Because I was saying that the on uh, my first wave could do the same job as these guys are doing now. If there was not any bug there, because my musketeers fired less, they uh, avoided to go in melee combat, and of course, uh, and of course, my cuirassiers were doing nothing, and I have lost nearly 500 cuirassiers in one minute, nearly. But now everything is okay and Ukraine does not have any chance now. Let's upgrade the Russian Russian Academy.
Okay, Ukraine is sending few and few guys, few and few soldiers against my troops. And it's very easy to repel them. Let's destroy every, every blockhouse nearby. Look at these, they have skipped. Okay, now Violet is dead and and I'm killing the black one. I think the blue one quit before the time. Yep, this is another bag, but uh, uh, developers uh, promise to improve this because when a guy, uh, when someone is quitting in multiplayer game, every of uh, single unit becomes idle, and you have to order them once again what to do. Okay, I have nearly 340 grenadier, Russian grenadiers. Okay, everything is done in this game, and it's question of time to destroy every building there. Okay, it will take much time. Okay, I think everyone quit, because red is not moving as well. Okay, everyone quit except me. Okay, actually this is a victory. It's question of time. And if you like my videos and want more, don't forget to subscribe below. Look at this, Hetman has killed a lot of my cuirassiers. Yep, anyway. Good guys, cheers and farewell. Let's see in the next episodes. Bye.